just got new set. It's F1 weekend today. Oh, Ottero is really a nightmare. Yeah, especially if you drive. So do not drive. Look to self. I should just take a taxi because I was stuck in a jam for like 40 minutes just to find a place I could park. We're heading for a tempura dinner with our friends and I've been wanting to eat Japanese food but normally I won't be able to because most of the things are raw but tempura is good. Lunch was really nice. Did you enjoy it? I did. <laughs> yeah, didn't think that you know a Indian inspired private dining would taste this good. Oh, but it was very nice. So good job. One swap to F1. Well, Matt decides to watch his F1, I've decided to head down to buy some groceries. In fact, I've been really feeling a lot of hunger pangs lately. I'm almost seven months, which is so insane. But anyway, I realized that when I get hungry, I get super nauseous. So that's where I'm going. Morning, it's Monday. Anyway, I am so excited. I'm going for my second prenatal massage. Um, the first one was so good. It was highly recommended by my confinement place. They really know their thing so I trust them and I decided to come to uh, Baby's Berries in Novena too and they were really kind to help me make a booking as well because they know the people there and apparently it gets like super crowded but I'm super early because I had to drop Matt to work in the morning for something really early. So yeah, maybe I should get myself some matcha latte. I'm not very familiar with like Novena area, so where can I get a good matcha latte in Novena? Today's comfy. Can you guys see? <laughs> I'm wearing my clots as well. Super comfortable, especially when I'm pregnant. This got sand really. Got myself some tea instead. Couldn't find matcha here, but this is nice. It's like really fragrant. Second breakfast. <laughs> it was so good, much needed, and they are so nice. Like. My masseuse, she's like, oh, your body's so tired this month. Like when I woke up, she actually did one hour 45 minutes for me instead of one and a half hours. So, so thankful. I am so happy. I got the avo bagel. Avo bacon, sorry. It's been like two years since I last had two men bagel. 
I've never tried the Nagina brunch. Oh my god, it looks glorious. Okay, I'm gonna like take half and drive and eat half of it. So good. This deserves a close up. Okay. Hi, folks. It's me again. I know it seems like I'm doing so many things in a day. It is still the same day, I promise you. Um, but I am going for my first, I guess, gala dinner of the year. This is for her World Woman of the Year and I spent three hours on this hair and makeup. This is my outfit. I don't know if you guys can see, I'm gonna give you a closer look later on. I don't know anybody at my table. I hope I'm gonna make new friends. Nervous. I don't have a full length video for like with my outfit. I did manage to get it. And the Raffles Hotel uh, toilet doesn't have a full length mirror. So I'm just gonna insert a TikTok that I did over here. But yeah, so happy with this dress. Tomorrow I'm gonna return it. And right now it's currently 11 plus. I think I'm gonna take like a few hours just to wash my hair. So I'm gonna have an early year night or I'm gonna start. Uh, getting ready for bed earlier today because of this. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's my second Italian meal. <laughs> well, we these girls. Wow, look at all this. All this. What, what is this? Oh, is this my fish? Yes, yeah, your fish. <laughs> I was like, it does not even look like a fish. It's meat week and I just got news that I passed my GD test. Gestational diabetes was honestly the thing that I was most afraid like after finding out that I was pregnant because you guys know I have insulin resistance and PCOS and these two conditions literally points that I have a higher chance of developing gestational diabetes and I just so thankful and relieved. Ah. My guy actually texted me um, and said that I was fine and I'm cleared. I couldn't believe my eyes. So thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, I really prayed so hard for this. But yeah, so I mean, obviously, I'm still not gonna overly indulge. I wasn't even like just watching whatever I was eating because honestly, if I do have GD, I want to be diagnosed because you know if I don't or if I try to cheat the test by being very 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 clean prior to the blood test then my baby might risk the side effects of GD which I really don't want so I rather get detected and then control myself after that but I was thinking honestly it shouldn't be that bad because you do the gestational diabetes test at about six plus months so which means that even if i do get diagnosed i was telling myself that okay it's just three months it's three months of like really 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 strict diet but thank god i don't have that so i am very very blessed i just wanted to come on here to share this piece of good news with y'all and today i'm heading to pt again uh, i have been out of action for three weeks because i pulled a muscle yeah, you guys know. So, tummy is huge today and I have also resorted to wearing maternity leggings and I plan to wear it for the rest of my workouts from now onwards so that I don't put too much pressure on the baby. It's huge! Ta-da! Look how big it is. So. Done with PT! Um, today is Sarah's birthday, so I am gonna celebrate it with her. And I booked Virangi Superstar, one of my favorite places for Indian fusion food. And we both love bread or anything carby, so I'm sure she's gonna like it. Sing it to Kai. Nice, I 
Even though she has so many cakes here. <laughs> Which one you like? I can't tell. I can't decide. Either this Angelic Noir, which is apparently Singapore and Southeast Asia's like bestseller, or Cruel Gardenia. I really really like Gardenia scents, and this is like kind of more like sweet floral. This is more like feminine and dark. So, Mom, what's your pick? This one, Cruel Gardenia. Yeah, I think I will use it more like every day. It's been raining every day. I'm in Great World City's car park and it's all flooded. <sighs> I do feel the effects of being seven months pregnant now. Um, definitely looking a lot more swollen. And my acid reflux has been quite bad as well. But today I am heading to a mother's work event, my first ever mother's work event, and it's actually gonna be a clothing one. I know the little one is not here yet, but I thought it would be nice to just catch up with my friends because I'm gonna be getting and shopping quite a lot, or rather, I already shopped quite a lot. I'm waiting for my delivery from mother's work once the baby is nearing. It's by the reversible bar and I'm also here to look at the new Ergo Baby carrier. Yeah, I'm excited. So cute! Aisha is our designer. Thank you. So basically you can do bespoke. Front and back, they are reversible. So yeah, they can make like adult clothes, baby clothes, newborn as well. For now, I still don't really like all the little, little prints, so... These are little one things. Thank you. Happy Sunday! This is super sluggish day. I don't know what is it about Sundays, but I just feel so tired. I'm having a headache. I just don't want to do anything. But I just dropped Matt off to the airport because he's off to Bangkok for a work trip and I'm meeting my friend Carice from Malaysia and I've always wanted to check out the new Five Oars Heritage Outlet at the Tanjung Pagar like, area so that's where I met Tanjung Pagar is so dead on the Sunday and you can easily find parking lots Okay, before that, I better put my parking This is my outfit I mean, it's looking really big today. It's so crowded, I had to scan to get a queue number. That was so nice and fun! Waffles were really nice and actually the soy white was very nice too. Right now, I am gonna run to get a cake for my mom's birthday celebration tonight. I am like 30 minutes running behind, but I'm looking for a four leaves, I think, or a prima deli because I was thinking like, I should get something that she's familiar with instead of like, you know, those uh, fancy or indie brands. Anyway, it's for her, so I'm gonna drive to like Paya Leba, I think. Okay, now I gotta find a way to keep this safe you know the thing about being the cake bearer cake bearer is <laughs> that so you gotta keep it safe and whole and because I got like a cream based cake 
I think it's a bit dangerous. I'm gonna tie a seatbelt on it. <laughs> I think it's safe. I hope so. I got the strawberry shortcake from uh, Four Leaves. I don't know whether or not it's the Paya Lima Square Brunch, but I didn't see Coco Exotic, which is like my favorite one. They called it like Chocolate Origin? Uh, something, something else. <laughs> chocolate Origin is another brand. I'm sorry. Yeah. Don't <laughs> come at me, guys. <laughs> I'm a pregnant woman with a pregnant brain. Anyway, tonight's dinner is a San Shu Gong. I've heard so many things about it. I've always wanted to go and I'm very happy that my sister managed to book it. Just that the dinner is a little bit late at like 8 plus, uh, but at least we get to try it. breakfast this is granola from yujong gourmet they are actually a new subsidiary premium drip coffee brand from refund tea okay i obviously also added uh kukasa's almond butter mm. it's a monday lots of work to be done so I think I probably wouldn't check in that much. I'm glad I'm having a great Monday. I'll check back in when I can. Peace. This is my dinner for one. I love this extent. This is no bad. It looks really good. I actually find eating myself extremely therapeutic. And I even like saying no to people who want to join me for dinner. <laughs> I guess this is like truly an introvert speaking. Is there anyone like you guys, like me out there? I just feel that sometimes people look at me like, that's very weird. But I think it's even weirder than talking to myself in a restaurant. I ordered char grew chicken, it's my favorite. My favorite combo is onion rings, garden salad, and char grew chicken. Bon appetit! Chicken. 